I am Todd Martins with the Los Angeles Times. We are here at Disney Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World, standing in front of Rise of the Resistance, the showcase attraction of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The attraction opens this week at Walt Disney World. It's coming to Anaheim January 17th. This is the beginning of the Rise of the Resistance queue. It is a very extensive, lengthy hike into the start of the attraction, so we're going to take you through it, show you some of the details. So I wanted to introduce you to the backside of Batu Water. This is in the start of the cave of the Rise of the Resistance queue. One of my favorite things about this queue are the details of the lighting fixtures. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you look at these guys right here, if you look at some of these fellows over here, everything here is designed to look handmade, to sort of look, you know, something you would bring camping, something that you would just sort of signify sort of being out in the environment. Various points in the cave you'll be able to look at carvings. You'll see some paths that look organic and then you'll see some paths like these that are clearly designed to look like they were pulverized by resistance lasers. So you'll know you're about halfway through the queue when you start seeing clearly marked benches. One of the few rides at Disneyland or Disney Walt Disney World here to really have a place to sit and relax. Up until this point in the queue, you've seen a lot of crates, you've seen a lot of sort of random equipment. But once you get a little bit more than halfway, you start seeing actual digital equipment, schematics, to let you know you're in the Rebel base. As uh, anyone who's familiar with Disneyland or Walt Disney World, you know there's been firearms in Disney attractions before, the Jungle Cruise and the Hippo scene. This might be the first attraction that really puts those rifles, those blasters up front, lets you know you're in for something different, in for something a little bit more action heavy. Won't be changing into resistance gear on this ride, but here you get a look at what the resistance soldiers, resistance fighters are usually wearing. One of the interesting things to note, if you can, when you're actually in this queue and you touch this, touch this metal, it feels like rust. It looks rusty, it feels like rust. It's not gonna hurt you. One of the things we're not really talking about right now, uh, because it would be difficult to show you, is the audio that you hear throughout the queue. Um, as you're walking through this experience, you're going to hear warnings, for instance, that these are ancient runes, maybe don't use various sort of technologies that will interfere with the ancient runes. Through these doors, you'll get your mission briefing. This is where the show experience of the ride really begins. You're gonna meet some resistance heroes. You may not see them in the flesh, though. Incoming transmission from right. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Poe Dameron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Bakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the General. Stand clear. Jet door's opening now. Right this way, proceed to the transport shuttle up ahead. We're about to step on board a transport. This ship is going to take us to meet General Leia. I have a feeling things aren't going to go as planned. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, quickly. Yes, I just want to be sure. All recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. You're going Good. You're going to go to your night, but drive. 20 seconds. Hyperdrive near the gun in that array view. Good. Airspeed sensor. If you. Thank you, Nightdom. Black Leader, are you and your team ready? Affirmative. Engines are high. Launch. I am Lieutenant Beck. 
As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields! We have company! First order TIE Fighters! We rock! We rock! We got a gear pad so transport can make a jump! Try to shake him, Blue! We have now stepped aboard a First Order Star Destroyer. There's 50 stormtroopers in front of us. We're about to be ushered into what I believe is going to be a detention center. We're getting close to actually boarding the attraction. You can see the entire tone of the attraction changes in Act 2. This is uh, getting deep into the First Order ship. Uh, you look at the everything here for us very oppressive, very sort of clean in sort of a menacing sort of way. Securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, whoa. Go to the prisoners. Hey. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance here at Galaxy's Edge. Um, it's one of Disney's most ambitious rides. It's multiple ride systems. You go from a transport ship, you get a little bit of immersive theater, you're then put into a small ride vehicle with a droid, it's trackless. That turns into a brief little drop ride, which also then turns into a simulator experience. There's lots of moving parts. When everything is all firing on all cylinders, cylinders and working together, it's an incredibly impressive attraction. 